<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Antoinette. Um, welcome back to my Chanel. I have big news. Well, it's big for me. I don't know what came over me in the last 10 minutes, but I was really ready to film. And then I remembered that I received this most miraculous gift today. I don't know if you guys know, but this palette and I have serious relations. Really no boundaries between us at all. I want this palette to talk me. This is the Clarice Sykes box and today, today, Clarice Sykes has a us new life by the name of the Real Fantasy palette. I think I shed a tear when it was announced that this palette was coming out and today I'm gonna use it. I've already swatched it. I love it, but I'm a little biased. That's it, I'm gonna say it, I'm a little biased. But here it is, the Real Fantasy palette, what I have been waiting for. I'm not even gonna say what y'all have been waiting for because this is about me right now. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of, ever since the first palette came out, it was a hit. And the people want more and Juliana delivered. She delivered, I didn't even try it and she delivered. I didn't even try it yet. She delivered, I just know it. God, I hope I don't eat my words. Instead of just matte, this one has shimmers and some metallics in here and then the matte, some bright mattes over here and then some, oh my God toasty mattes over here. What I wanted to do today was a brown look, but then I got this palette and I don't want to do a brown look, but I'm still gonna try and stick to a brown look. I also received this from ColourPop, this very cute purple box. This came in another ColourPop box. <laughs> I'm so excited because it's all, it's a cream gel liner ball. Can never have too much colorful liners. And I I can picture a look in my head right now. I can just see it. I see it. Here are all of these. It comes with 96. No. 12 liners. And then this butterfly collection right here come fly with me. Since when does ColourPop have false lashes? What did I miss? I have a feeling I commented on maybe one of ColourPop's posts where they talk about lashes and in excitement and then I probably forgot because that's what I do now. Oh my god, look at this palette. This is got singles. Wow. I'm probably not using that today though. I can put these lashes to use. My earrings are from Shop Kike by the way. I will tag them below. Tag them, link them. Mm -hmm. I have my base done. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. It's matte. <laughs> and six pounds of moisturizer below. In conclusion, I'm greasy again. Whatever. I love it. Okay, let's get started. So I really just want to do a brown look today, but we'll see what happens. I want to do something neutral but with gems my eyes are primed with the abh primer and um let's just let's just go okay i'm gonna take my referred number two brush right here i'm gonna take this color right here it's called jupiter and it's this toasty rusty it's like a rusty rusty red and i'm going to wow yep yes I'm packing her on my lid all over. Look at this. I'm just going to blend it with the side of the brush right here. Look at how that's blending already. I don't, I actually do believe my eyes. I do believe my eyes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just deleted my intro to this video. Um, it is what it is, dog. Anyway, I'm switching over to the number one brush from Refer. Wow. I, 
We're not surprised. We're not surprised. No. And I'm just blending this color all over. Flipping her up. Anyway, editing pictures, we all do it. We all do it. I do it. You think I don't edit out my mustache sometimes? And sometimes if my brows are overgrown like now, I might edit that out in pictures. But if it's super noticeable, right now, like it's noticeable, but not that much, like I don't care. If you have a problem editing your skin and promoting a foundation though, never making a video ever of your skin and promoting a foundation in a still post. Do you sleep at night and knowing you lied? <laughs> Let me do this side really quick so we can move on to the next shadow and talk about this more. I've gone far too far on the other end. It's fine. We're, we're doing this side, remember? So I'm taking this mahogany. It's this um, mahogany shade. It's brown. And what I'm doing is I'm using the same refer brush and it has whatever leftover red. So it helps everything blend together seamlessly. So I'm placing this at the front of my crease here in a circular motion. I'm not really flicking up into my brow, but I'm just deepening that color little by little. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side over here, the end of my crease, but I'm not bringing it down to my lash line. You'll see, you'll see. Anyway, about my skin. Editing, yes. I feel like I should insert a clip of how I edit or maybe make a video dedicated to it and the apps that I use for editing because I I love editing for artistic value and just to tweak things a little. I'm not going to increase the hell out of a shadow saturation and be like, go buy this eyeshadow. Now I have increased the overall saturation of a photo because Sometimes a DSLR camera will wash you out, at least whatever settings I have this on. Because if you compare my iPhone, okay, I'm going too far. I'm taking a little bit of Jupiter again and going over that. But if you compare my iPhone pictures to my camera pictures, I look like two different skin tones. I feel like the iPhone definitely captures um, a look or the makeup true to its color. Though the detail on my camera is great, uh, it'll definitely wash me out, especially with this ring light. That's totally different than the other eye. I'm kind of doing what you would do in the outer corner, but I'm not bringing it down to my lash line. I love a good edit. Love it, love it for you, love it. You wanna smooth out your skin? That's perfectly fine. Who the fuck cares? I care when you're promoting this concealer or you're promoting this foundation and you're getting people to spend 40, 50, 60 dollars on this foundation, but you blurred your skin into oblivion. You've added the grain filter one too many times and one too many layers. That's when I have a problem. I want to hear your opinion on it. <laughs> I would like to hear it. Ah! I don't know this. <laughs> I'm ugly. Oh, sorry. I added a teeny bit of concealer right here to open up that space between these two dark shades, or this one dark shade and this, these two spots. So, what was I saying? Yep. That's what depression will do to you guys. It'll make you. Huh? It'll make you forget. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. Editing. Light leaks on photos? <laughs> I'm no stranger to it. I am no stranger to a light leak on my photo. I'm going to insert some pictures here. 
of some light leaks, some light filtering, some edits I love. No problem with that. Okay, before I talk about the next thing, I am either gonna use this, this, or this. I wanna use this indigo shade. It's called Mystic on this Makeup Geek pencil brush. I'm gonna apply it here. Oh, oh there's a teeny bit of fallout. It's not bad though. Got him. Greasy. Oops. So there is this one person I follow and I don't think uh, this post that they did with this liner was an ad. But either way, they used this liner for a very liner friendly look, liner all over. And in some areas it was, it was so obvious that it was deepened in an app. It, it was manipulated in some, some editing program. It was just so opaque and so, 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 so smooth compared to the blunt lines of the liner in other areas that if you're getting paid or not, and you mentioned the liner, maybe disclose that information with people. I'm gonna take a little bit of ice, put a little bit of ice on it. I, I just feel like you should disclose that information with people. I work with products, so many products so much that I influence people. I guess that's why they call it an influencer. It all is coming together now. So whenever I'm tweaking a product, should you not know so you don't go out and purchase this product? Like imagine me doing this bomb ass yellow liner look and then me saying, oh, it's NYX Vivid Brights. Have you ever tried this fucking liner? It sucks. And it was not gifted to me. And even if it was gifted to me, I'm gonna be honest. Just be honest. That's... It. Taking Jupiter again, and I'm going to follow these shades with that and blend it into this. I don't care if the blue mixes into it because I live irresponsibly. Yes, it sounded like there was more to that sentence, but there was not. I think I will make a video of how I edit my photos though. I think that would be good for people to see and then you kind of get an idea how to do, how to work these apps because that is not working out how I wanted it to, like on this side. And that's exactly why I'm gonna put gems over this to deter your eyes. Yeah, but then you guys can get an idea of what I do um, and how easy it is. It's so easy to work these apps. Just simple little tweaks can change a photo so much without completely lying to people. Uh, what am I gonna do? I really wanna use that green. I'm using Alien, cause it's what I wanna be. I'm applying some of that green right up here and I'm flicking it into my brow cause that's all I know how to do and I love it. And I'm using this ABH A13, dense and domed, just like. Okay, I'm taking crystalline right here it's, oh, it's icy shimmery shade with a blue shift. I'm putting that in my inner corner. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, sorry to go on such a long vent rant about that. I just don't like when people get lied to. I do my research a lot on products before I buy them. No matter if my favorite influencer or makeup artist says, hell yeah, buy this shit. But people like, I don't know, my cousin and my friends, if one person they whose opinion they value a lot says, hell yeah. And if they can't see those little lies that I see, that pisses me off. That's why I had to talk about it a little. Uh, what's the next step? Let me try some gems, gemmies, gemmies. 
opinions on the palette so far uh, I want it to impregnate me and that's saying a lot because my whole family is asking for a baby from Dennis and I and I'm letting my palette have the first go at it that should speak volumes gems Okay, so these are just nail gems that I got from Amazon. As tiny as they are, they've been very forgiving. It really has to do with the adhesive I'm using and how steady my hand is. But with the amount of coffee I've had, I don't know if that's in the foreseeable future. I think I'm gonna try a daughter, a, a dotting tool, not an actual daughter. Please stop telling me I have a baby. Okay, I'm gonna just use the ABH glitter adhesive. I don't know where I'm gonna place these. Oh, well, now I gotta place one there. Oh no, I don't know what color I wanna use. Green. I have a feeling I'm just gonna be using my finger. Nice. Press the gem deep into my skin. And the fat in my finger holds it. Really, the rest is history. Wow, that was way less stressful than I had anticipated. Next, Stepperoni ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. I want to use this pink one. I don't think I've ever used a ColourPop liner. I have a black one too and I've yet to use it. Good Reef. <gasps> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Here we go. It's so pink. I don't know if it's my eyes or what. What does Miley Cyrus do? I think that was the one. I think that was it. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these lashes by ColourPop. I think I'm gonna use Chick. Look at these. Also, let me just say, I don't know how much these retail for. Now, I always get uh, I always get a little note in there that it gives me all the price points, and I I never read them. <laughs> I just never read them. Okay, they're eight dollars each. Each lashes, each set of lashes is eight dollars. If you use my code, uh. I don't know, five Antoinette. You say five dollars. I don't get any portion of that money at all. Almost anybody who has a code with ColourPop does not get any portion of that money. What's wrong with people not liking their faves getting sponsored? Are they really your faves? Even when they give you the utmost honesty, Sponsored? No, stop right there. I mean, not y'all, and not y'all to me, but I've seen what the internet does to people who have a code. Y'all are scary. That's not on my lash line. Don't tell anybody. Blush, I think I'm gonna keep it earthy. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is Underclassmen by ColourPop. Who else makes them like this? Ah, and I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush. Not only is December here, but <laughs> a decade has gone by. I still reference the same videos, the same vines. I didn't even have a vine. I'm a poser. I'm a poser. I remember I wore Etnies to school. My mom found shoes at the thrift store for me because Etnies were fucking $70. She found them for five and I wore them to school. And this this dumb dingus comes up to me and she's like, do you even skateboard? And I was like, no. And she said, oh my God, Poser. I remember both their names too. And I should just call them out right now. But that was in seventh grade. I'll never forget. <laughs> Y'all are mean. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? What the fuck was I talking about? Okay, while well, I try to remember, I'm reading this into my temples. Actually, I'm not. Man, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm looking for a bronzer. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep this all cruelty free. I just read, saddle, saddle by Mac. No, not Mac. Uh, saddle by ABH. I'm gonna use the Refer Number Five brush. Um, yeah, another decade has gone by. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 20, I'm gonna be 20, <coughs> I can't even 
even say it. I'm gonna be 20 something. I was born in 1993, you do the math. I'm gonna be 20 something. And my family's like, she's doing her makeup like that. Yes, I don't get it. How is it that if I do my makeup like this, because I'm a woman and my age is the age that it is, it's a problem. But if a racist does their makeup like this, it's sabroso. In the past 10 years, my mom basically went to Peru 97 times. She stopped going when I turned 15. That was the last time I went to Peru, 15 or 16 years old. Stop going until I moved out. I know we were tight on money and it's fine, but um, she also went to Colombia for the first time without me. <laughs> so that's how my decade went. She told me the food was incredible and I hung up on her. Use Crystalline as my highlight, why not? Yeah, yes. You can't even see it when I look forward. <gasps> Are you joking? This is unbelievable. I just, okay, Huda Spice Girl. Is it Huda? Cruelty free? I'm on cruelty free kitty right now. And it says Huda Beauty is in the gray area, which means it's currently unclear whether or not the brand is cruelty free. Since they haven't provided enough information, some brands that fall under this category refuse to share their complete animal testing policy or answer questions about their cruelty-free status. Hmm. Very sus of you. Fenty's cruelty-free though. Where's my gloss balm? Ah. Uh, okay, I'm using Fenty gloss balm. And then I'm finishing this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I talked so much, but I'm also not sorry about it. It seems that when I don't have my headphones in lately, I have been able to gather my thoughts, which is so nice because it's been such a long time since I could just form a normal sentence and have just have a conversation. I needed this video for sure. This palette is a I can't give it a 10 out of 10 yet because I haven't used all of the shades, but I am gonna give it a nine out of 10 right now. That's, I'm biased. The quality of the shadows are great and support small businesses. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, opinions, let me know below. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna subscribe if you'd like. Thank you for watching guys. Um, and see you in the next video, bye.